Hey guys, it's Taps here. I hope you guys are good. In this tutorial, I want to walk you through some Chrome extensions that will make life easier for you as a web developer. These Chrome extensions will help you clone websites. They will help you copy website front, inspect elements. They do a lot of things. And you agree with me that having your dev tools in one place would make your work a lot easier if you're a web developer. And that's why I find these Chrome extensions quite very useful because they will make your life a lot easier. Some of these Chrome extensions are free, why some of them are paid. So, but I will try as much as possible to walk through all of them as fast as I can. Uh, so I will encourage that you don't skip in between this tutorial. Just give me a few minutes of your time for me to walk you through these extensions and what they can do for you. But before I go straight into this, this is me making a disclaimer that every of the tool I'm showing you and everything I do here in this tutorial on this channel around website cloning is strictly for educational purposes alone. I'm not encouraging you to go clone people's website or copy a website element or do anything. I am only teaching you, showing you what's possible. Having said that, I think we should get started into these tutorials immediately. So the first Chrome extension I want to show you here is this one here. It is called Save All Resources. I like this tool so much. It is very free for you to use. I love it because it works at the background. It works as a dev tool. I don't literally need to even have it visible here. If I want to use this Chrome extension here, I just need to right click on any web page and then I will just use my inspect tool. Inside my Chrome dev tool here, I can just come up here and then I will see this resources saver once i click on it you can see that i can save all the resources for this page and it's quite very beautiful so you have some other options here you can beautify your js or html or css code before you download that if you want to do that and you can include all assets from your xhr request uh, that's literally optional but i think this is just good in my opinion here so all you have to do is just click these save these resources and you can see that has been downloaded to our browser as a matter of fact i can even open it up here so you can say i have dabs to a zip here i can open it up here i can extract this zip folder just like that i have the resources for that page here so if i open up dabs to.com you can see i have my index.html here so it's a wordpress website so you can see i have my wp include here and my wp content here that contains my plugins, my themes, and the upload that I have made to that website. And I think this is quite amazing, right? So if I open this up here, you can see I have literally the same uh, website here. Uh, I have it here right now in my local machine. And I think this is quite very, very, very beautiful. So I believe this uh, Chrome extension is worth the check. So you can check it out. I will leave the link to all of these resources in the video description. You can check them out. So the second Chrome extension I have here is called Div Magic. Unfortunately, Div Magic is a paid tool, but it's one fantastic extension here that can save you a lot of stress. This Chrome extension is highly recommended for any developer out there. As a matter of fact, I think we should come to their website here. So it's, this is divmagic.com. Uh, if you come down here, you see that this tool does a lot of things. This tool will help you get the code of any element on any website. I will show you that uh, real quick. So you can also copy the media query of any element, which is fantastic. You can convert CSS to Tailwind CSS. You can also copy code through iframes. They also have some dev tools integration that is quite very, very fantastic. And also you can convert any component into React or JSX, which is fantastic. Also here is the Div Magic Studio integration. Uh, which you will see that if you invest in this tool, if you come up here to their studio, if you open it up, you have a place for you to copy and paste all this element and post into it. A fantastic tool by and large, it will save you a lot of work. So, Div Magic Toolbox here, you can see I will show you all of that uh, real, real quick. So, you can come down here, see every of the uh, things that you can do here. You can copy front here, color pickers. WordPress integration is coming soon. I am super excited about this. I sincerely cannot wait to see how I can literally export my copied element into WordPress. It's crazy. I'm super waiting. I believe the developers are working around this tool to bring out the best out of it. So it's a fantastic one. If you want to check them out, you can just click the Get Now button. You would be able to see their pricing at $16 per month, $96 per year. 
a one-time payment of $200. They're currently giving a 40% a discount. You can copy it for you to check out. But this is a fantastic tool by and large. Uh, so for example, if I come to my website here, uh, let me close this up. So this is your toolbox here. So if you open your toolbox here, you'll be able to see everything you can do. I can literally copy any element on this web page right now. So if I click on this right now, so you can see, I can copy this element here. I can also choose a complement format from HTML to JSX. I can choose a style format from inline CSS to Tailwind CSS to local CSS or even external CSS. My media query can be off or on. Whatever I want is quite very, very fantastic. I love this uh, tool so much. I don't want to waste so much time trying to do this. I don't know why I closed that. Open the dev tool here. So you can see the next thing here is to copy uh, your front so I can easily just check out uh, what front that this website is using. And I think that's amazing. The next thing is to trash something. So for example, I can click on this. I can choose to hide or remove some elements. So let's say I want to hide some element on this page right now. This will be useful when you have a website that have some elements on each other. You want to inspect all the elements so you can easily hide some elements. So I can choose this right. I can hide this. I can hide this. I can hide this. So you can see I can literally just hide anything on this page. And I think this is beautiful here. Yeah? I can choose to restore them if I want to. Amazing, amazing stuff. I can remove some element completely if I really want to. So this is this is the color picker here. I can just scroll down and just inspect to see uh, the color of the element. I can open up some grid for me to inspect the whole of the page and see all the elements and see the alignment. And I think this is quite very fantastic. And finally, I can do a screenshot of the entire page. I can take a screenshot and you can see that has been done here right now with the click of a button. I can drag this into your studio and then get the code of this page. And this is super, super, super amazing. So the next Chrome extension should be HTML copy. And this tool is a fantastic tool. I love this as well. This one is free for us to use. I love the fact that it is so simple to use, really. I love the fact that it gives you the ability for you to ignore some elements and choose whatever you want. So for example, I can choose to ignore the navigation element and I can just say, I just want to play with the header and the footer. I may also want to take out every iframe on the page. And I think this is super beautiful. And I can copy this code to clipboard just like that. Or I can export this to file and that's it. I have this code here. I can open it up. Just like that, I have the code of that page ready for me to use. I can copy this into any project I'm doing. Super simple and amazing, right? It just doesn't get simpler than this. I love the simplicity of this Chrome extension. Next on my list here is Clone WebEx. If you have followed me for a while, I have talked so much about Clone WebEx. But what I love about Clone WebEx is the fact that it can literally help you clone any web page into your preferred page builder. Uh, but I can just show you exactly how this works. So uh, this is Chrome Webex and you have a place here where you can work on projects. So for example, here I have bricksbuilder.io as a project. So I can literally clone any aspect of this website. If this website has 100 pages, all of the pages here fall under one project. I like that. So I have this Webflow website here. Uh, if I launch Chrome Webex uh, Chrome extension. I would select the project I want to use. So I have it here as Webflow and then I can just hit add page and it will just literally copy this page for me. So right now you can see that inside of Chrome Webex we now have this page here and you can see we have all the elements here. So if you come here we can select the entire page or select some elements that we want to copy whatever it is that work for you. So you can see every element here is, is clickable. So if I click on this right now, I can select whether I want to work with the current selector or the parent selector. The parent selector is not highlighted here. I don't know why that is. I can close this here so you can see I have this right now here. So the parent selector ideally will copy the entire page for you while the current selector will select just the element that you have selected. And I think this is beautiful and that's what we need to do here. So let's say, for example, I want to work with this element here. If I click on this, so you can see that has been highlighted here for us. So, and then I can choose my preferred page with our Elementor here, Webflow here, Bricks, Breakdance here, 
and i think this is super super beautiful so once you do all of that you just need to come down here and hit the export button and then go and paste it in your preferred page builder and you will have that website cloned to your preferred page builder and i think this is crazy clone web is a freemium tool it has a free version and the paid version very limited for you to use uh in the free version and you will have unlimited access like i'm showing you here in the paid version uh the next on my list here would be a tool here called resources saver it works the same way like the save all resources like i showed you the first tool i showed you so you can see the reason why i don't have this installed is because it does the same thing just like the save resources extension and that's the reason why i would not recommend that you install both because it's the same process you just need to once you have this chrome extension installed so if i click on this right now so you can see i can add this to my chrome here and just like the save resources you can see here in the image here the same process here i just need to save all resources i need to save the resources for that page so i would recommend you choose one between resources saver or save all resources and the last chrome extension but not the least that i have here is called html to design it's a fantastic tool however this one work quite different uh, let me just come back to a page right now and this chrome extension is here it's a free chrome extension for you to use however it has a paid uh, feature too as well so if i launch this chrome extension you will see that this one will help you convert any website into fully editable figma designs and i love the uniqueness of this if you have followed this channel for a while you will know that i have used this tool for so many cloning projects and you can attest that it does a fantastic job so let's say for example i want to use it to clone this page right now you can see that i have some viewpoints i can choose to work with so i can choose to copy this website here in different viewpoints whether or not it's a desktop a laptop a tablet a tablet a mobile device different uh, viewpoint here as a matter of fact if you're using the premium version you will have the option here for you to edit your viewpoint and if you're a developer you know how important this might be that you have control over your design and your breakpoint that is a fantastic fantastic resource to have i can choose to copy the full page here or a particular selection of the page that's literally up to you to choose whatever you want but with a, with a click of a button here you can copy the entire whole page so you can see it's scrolling through the page copying both the web view and also the mobile view download into our browser so you can see i have this here so for me to use this right now inside of my figma i just need to go to figma.com it's a fantastic uh, platform for ui ux designer so i have done a lot of tutorials around cloning website for figma so if you want to learn more about that you can check my cloning playlist to see a lot of tutorials there as a matter of fact i already have that uh, design here brought into a project here already i think i should show you that real quick so there you have it you can see the designs are already here like i told you i had worked on that before but for you to be able to use figma if you have not used figma before just go to figma.com and then create a free account start a new project and then you can just come up here and come to plugins and search for you can come to manage plugin and search for html to design i've used it before so i have that there so i'm launching the plugin i have the chrome extension open here directly inside of figma if you already have figma you can literally clone any website from here by just pasting the url here and hit the import button just like that you will have them here just like we have done uh, but the chrome extension works like magic because it gives you access for you to be able to use it to clone pages that may not be publicly available and that's the fantastic use of that chrome extension so it means you can log in into the back end of any website and then use that chrome extension to copy that page you can see that so for example if i want to clone my facebook page right now it will not be publicly available because you might need to log in into facebook for you to be able to have access to that page so if i put that url here this tool might not have access to it but i can log in into my facebook page and then use this chrome extension to snip 
how to copy that page and then bring it into my feed my design here and i think i love that so right now if you have used the chrome extension what you want to do is just drag uh this aud file down here into this bot into this space here and once you do that uh this plugin will import that design into your figma project. just like that we have that design into our figma project so you can see this is the design here again uh just the replica of what i have here and this is the mobile view for that page isn't this super amazing and just here inside of figma you can literally make changes to anything here you can click it you can change the text change the images here i have covered a lot of tutorial around this on this youtube channel i have showed how you can convert this into a wordpress theme or you can convert this to elementor or you can convert this to webflow i have covered quite a number of those tutorials so you can check my cloning playlist for you to see those tutorials on this channel i think this is super super amazing this as well is a free tool for you to use but quite limited to the amount of time that you can use it maybe 15 times a month if i can remember but you have an unlimited use to this if you go pro that's my time for this tutorial if you find it very useful give me a thumbs up as usual if you have any issues drop them in the comment section i'll look out for them go experiment with this chrome extension guys and let me know your results i'll see you again and until then peace out